hey guys, have you ever felt like God told you to do something and then you think about it and you're like, no one else is going to believe this? Got a minute? Some of the biggest fathers of our faith struggle with the same concept. In Exodus 4, we see this about Moses. Moses answered, What if they do not believe me or listen to me and say, The Lord did not appear to you? Then the Lord said to him, What is that in your hand? A staff, he replied. Moses asked this question of what happens if they don't believe me? And God answers immediately with a question of his own. What is that in your hand is what God asked him. He's got this staff. So God didn't create or build something brand new. He used what Moses had in order to show his own power through Moses. Moses throughout this chapter is trying anything and everything, every excuse that he can come up with to not do the thing that God is calling him to do. Look, God wants to us to co-labor with him, which means that if he's going to work it, it can't be something that we can do on our own. It's something we have to do with him. So anything that he's called you to do has to be God-sized. It can't be human-sized because we're co-laborers. And I believe that this scripture kind of shows us that God is going to use what we have right now. He's going to use us in the here and now. It's not go off to this yonder place in order to find some magical thing that's going to help you. He's going to say, what do you have in your hand right now? What can we use right now? Now, he doesn't have to ask the question. He already knows. But he wants to take your attention to the things that you have. He doesn't want your attention on whenever everything is perfect, then you can enter in and you can do the thing that God called you to do. He's saying, what's in your hand right now? So put away all the excuses. Look at what you have. Offer it to God and let him use it. Thanks for taking a minute.